In this video we will understand. Unit 9. Reproductive Health and Rights. Let's start. 1. Introduction. Reproductive health and rights are crucial for individual and societal well-being. The 1994 International Conference on Population and Development in Cairo defined reproductive health and included individual rights in its definition. Reproductive health aims to enhance life and personal relationships. It goes beyond reproduction and sexually transmitted disease counseling and care. Reproductive health issues impact both women and men differently. 2. What is reproductive health and rights? Reproductive rights are legal rights that allow individuals, couples to make decisions about reproduction and reproductive health. These rights have their origins in the women's struggle for safe and legal abortion. The Cairo Conference emphasized that women's health is socially constructed. Reproductive health is considered a human right. Reproductive rights include the right to legal, safe abortion, birth control, access to quality reproductive health care, and education to make reproductive choices. A. What is reproductive health? Reproductive health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being related to the reproductive system. It goes beyond just the absence of disease or infirmity. It includes the right to decide the number, timing, and spacing of children, access to information and family planning methods, and prevention and treatment of reproductive tract infections and sexually transmitted diseases. B. Program of Action for India under the RCH approach. India adopted the Reproductive and Child Health RCH, approach in 1997. The RCH program introduced a target-free approach to family planning. It includes services like immunization, RTI, STD identification and prevention, reproductive health education for adolescents, and more. Primary health care centers, PHCs, are core units for implementing the RCH approach. Auxiliary nurse midwives, ANMs, play a significant role in providing reproductive and child health services. 3. Indicators of Reproductive Health Rights Reproductive rights aim to ensure universal access to reproductive health services. Quality of care includes continuous counseling and communication between clients and service providers. Gender relations and women's empowerment are indicators of reproductive health and rights. Contraception and abortion are important areas of focus. Maternal health is a significant dimension of reproductive health. Reproductive rights of adolescents are emphasized, and many countries have initiatives to address their needs. 4. Reproductive and Child Health Policy – A Critique Challenges exist in integrating public health and human rights principles in the RCH policy. The RCH policy aims to transform family planning into a rights-based approach. Challenges include understanding reproductive rights, addressing discomfort around reproductive health, government focus on demographic goals, and complexity in implementing rights-based care. The RCH program sometimes excludes single women from services and expands existing maternal and child health, family planning services. It is important to clarify and implement the concept of comprehensive and integrated reproductive and child health policy at the ground level. The notes of this chapter is provided into description of this video. Thank you.